Hey guys, today I am doing a collab with two of my dearest friends here on YouTube and I may have met one of them through YouTube and reconnected with one of them through YouTube, but we are so much more than just YouTube friends. Um, these women are dear to me. I have so much fun talking to them. The other night I laughed harder than I have laughed in. I couldn't even tell you how long. I was like shaking, tears rolling, cracking up laughing. It was just... It was just the funniest thing ever. I had so much fun just chatting back and forth with them, and which we do often, but it was just, we were all in especially rare form that night. <laughs> and um, we have a new little nickname for the three of us, and it was just a really good night. And I love these women so much. They make me laugh like, oh my goodness. And that's a very precious thing in a friend, is someone who can make you laugh. It's just... It's the best. Laughing is the best. The best. Actually, to me, hugs are the best. But since I can't hug them because they're so far away, I hug them through laughter. So that's going to be good enough. Okay, girls? But one of these days, we are going to get together and we are going to have so much fun. <laughs> but these wonderful people I am speaking of, you probably already saw in the title or in my thumbnail. But they are my sweet cousin, Debbie Knobloch, and... Anya Stamper and I am going to obviously have both of their channels linked down below and up here and all over because I love them and I want you to please go and show them support and love and I know you will love them too. They're impossible not to love. I mean, they just are. They're just amazing. And um, so we decided we wanted to do a collab together and they were talking about doing it would be fun to see all of what each other have in our collections or eyeshadow palettes and then choose a nice shadow palette that you'd like for the person to use. So Debbie kind of went through and said, okay, I'll pick one of your eyeshadow palettes. So I sent her uh, pictures of all my palettes that she could choose from. Anya is going to send me hers and Debbie is going to send hers to Anya so that we can all pick from each other's collection. So Debbie went ahead and picked this Pure Celebrate Your Selfie palette, which looks like this. And this I had one from my sweet friend Clara Barrera here on YouTube who I will also link her channel here right now and down below because she is she is such a wonderful person and you will love her too and it also has um eyelashes and mascara and a lip gloss which I think I will use a lip gloss at the end and then it has the blushes and a highlighter here too um I did do one look with this palette before in a video. It's not the only look I've ever done with this palette. In fact I wore it on Christmas Eve last year um but I'm going to link up here that video so you can see the first look I did with it. I went back to look and make sure that I don't do anything even remotely the same because I wanted to do something completely different with this palette. So I did a very pink look last time, which was beautiful, and I loved it. Um, once I looked back at it, I was like, why have I not been doing that look? Because I really like how it turned out. But this time, I'm going to try to take it a little more with the dark and we're gonna go with like golds. I wanna just like really make this. My sister got me, not that you can see it real good, but this necklace for my birthday that is shiny and black and gold and gorgeous. And I'm like, you know what, I'm gonna put that on. I'm gonna draw some inspiration from that. And then I also put on this bracelet that was my grandma's who um, just passed away in February. And um, I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna glam this up a little bit and just do a little dark glam look. And actually, Christmas Eve, she was with us. Um, she spent the night at my mom and dad's with us on Christmas Eve, my grandma did. So um, so it's kind of just a happy little memory of her too. And she loved all things glamorous. She, I got a lot of my love for makeup and jewelry and clothes and everything from her. So um, I'm excited to do this. And also for my other grandma because she is also a fashionista in all sorts of makeup and everything. So I got very, very fortunate with having grandmas who are very glam <laughs> and so I kind of came by my love for these things naturally but anyway I'm going to go ahead and start a look with this and um I guess maybe I'll talk a little bit through it and we'll just see what I come up with here right so I think for the kind of a little bit of a transition I think I'll go into this fulfilled shade which is right here um, so first off, I'm going to talk about Debbie because she's my cousin, she's family, and you've heard about me, or you've heard about me, you've heard me talk about her before. We actually just recently did a really fun collab together where our husbands picked our full face of makeup and then chose what shades for us to use out of the same palette, and, um, my husband sabotaged me and, you know, because 
he had a lot of fun doing that and it actually was really fun so I'll put that up here if you haven't seen that video but um Debbie and I are a lot alike we love a lot of the same things we love our families like crazy even more than that we love Jesus and that's part of why we love our families so much and um we just we have a lot in common and we have a lot of fun just chatting back and forth and things like that and just she's just amazing she's very um fashion forward I love the color of her hair is oh I would love to do that with my hair except for I've been a blonde before and it was no good but she just has a way with she does these looks that she'll be like oh this is going to be terrible and then she does it and it's like the most impressive thing ever where I'm like are you for real right now like she just did uh, NFL one and um, she lives in Kansas she did the Kansas City Chiefs and she made like their little logo on her cheek and stuff like are you kidding me I mean she's so good at what she does and she totally doesn't realize it like she she underestimate underestimates herself like crazy but don't most of us but she is just she's incredible and she does just beautiful looks that are you know actual wearable looks and um, she just does a lot of fun. She does Goodwill hauls, which I love. And she does Try It Out Thursday videos with her kids. And um, a lot of them she does with her youngest son, Tanner. And they do a lot of times where they're tasting different, like, strange foods. Like, you know, snacks from different countries. They're just, like, weird food type things. And um, they are so fun to watch. And in one of the most recent ones, I giggled my butt off. And I even, like, went back and showed it to my husband. Because I was like, oh, I know he would appreciate it. Um, I'm going to go into this hangry color over here. Um, poor Tanner. They got these biscuit type things. Her husband like bought some different stuff for them to try. And she said they must have been like, um, like stale, like rotten kind of. The look on Tanner's face and he had to, he almost threw up. And she blocked it out on the thing. And it was even just funny what she put um, while the whole situation was happening. The thing she put up on the screen to, like, block and stuff. I was giggling my butt off. Like, I couldn't even. And then my husband was laughing about it. It was so funny. And um, it's just so, it's really fun to see, like, their reactions to things. And it's so funny. They tried uh, kombucha. I love kombucha. My family thinks I am the biggest weirdo. They're like, you're so disgusting. I, like, there must be something in it. That my body needs because I literally crave it like I actually I'm gonna go drink some after I do this video I love the really gingery ones that almost taste like really vinegary there is something about that that is like I oh my gosh I love it so much but they are so grossed out by it and they're always like oh get that away from me what is the matter with you because <laughs> I'll like sneak up by them so that they smell it because it'll be like right by their nose and they're like why do you do that I love to torment them my dad used to do that stuff to me I guess I it's my turn you know I love it my dad does it to my kids now so I'm like haha your turn because I grew up being tormented he still torments me let's be real and I love every minute of it but um so anyway she and Tanner tried this kombucha and but it was one I've never had before it's, it was something different it was like a cola or like a cherry I don't know, cherry cola kombucha maybe? Something different like that that I've never tried. So I'm like, hmm, interesting. She's like, you can keep it. You can have all the kombucha. And I'm like, it was so funny. But um, yeah, so that it's really fun to watch those videos. And you can just see like, and when her other kids come on her videos and stuff too, you can just tell how much they absolutely love and adore her and how she loves and adores them in return and her husband as well. So um, she is a blessed woman and there's no mistaking why she is loving to everyone she's so kind she's so uplifting and you know even though she deals with some major um health issues that cause her a lot of pain and um a lot of her time is taken up by going to different therapies and going to doctors you would never know it because she is such a bright positive just beautiful person and um you know, it makes you think a lot about the things that you complain about. And, um, you know, we all, or most of us, have this tendency to fall into a little bit of the poor me about things. And she, I'm sure she has her moments like that. She's human. I mean, let's be real. But for the most part, she is very positive. She finds ways to turn her, um, you know, 
th struggles into things that are um, positive and she looks for ways to bless other people and that is just an amazing thing and we should all be more like that. She's an inspiration. She truly is. And so I'm so thankful to have her in my life and to um, have her as family. My great grandma was her grandma and so we are second cousins and um, she, our great grandma, or my great grandma, uh, Grandma Shack, she was something else. That woman was just something else and she is so incredibly missed. Um, she passed away right when I was, I was pregnant with my son Riley who is 17. It was right by New Year's. So was it New Year's or was it like right after New Year? I think it was right at the beginning of 2003, right? Debbie, you'll have to confirm because I was, or I mean 2002, I mean, because I had Riley in May of 2002 and I know it was right by New Year's. I remember my mom telling me on New Year's Eve, I'm pretty sure that grandma had gone into the hospital. So it must have been right at the start of 2002. Um, so it's been a long time and um, Debbie got to spend a lot more time with her than I did because grandma lived in Kansas where Debbie lives, but grandma would come and visit and stay in Michigan for a couple months in the summer and we'd get her at our house. You know, she'd go around to the different, um, her different grandkids houses and things like that. And it was just the best when grandma came. And uh, so it's fun to be able to talk to each other about stuff with her. And because grandma lived in Kansas, she had that cute Southern accent too. And there are times when Debbie says certain things that I'm like, oh my goodness, that was like hearing grandma talk. And so that is like a special blessing to me that I don't think she realizes, but Debbie, that is a blessing to me hearing your sweet voice because it sounds like grandma's sweet voice a lot of times and I just, oh, I treasure it. So, um, yeah, I, I love that and I love her. <laughs> so I'm going to stop crying now. And now I'm going to talk about my sweet friend, Anya. Um, Anya and I met through YouTube. I think I found her channel first and Com started commenting on her commenting on her videos. Did I even have a channel yet? I'm not sure. Anya, do you remember? Um, but anyway, we got talking, and then either I had a channel and she came to mine, or once I got a channel, she came to mine, kind of thing. Um, all right, I'm going to take. I want to do something real, kind of like dramatic and smoky. So that's what I'm working on here. Um, I'm actually going to. Find the right brush I want to use. And I'm going to take this really dark confident. It's like a dark chocolatey brown. It's like a gold shift to it. And I'm going to do that all over the lid. Um, but anyway, Anya, I remember fi finding her because she did like these really like bright, bold. I can't remember exactly how I found her, but why I stayed was because she did like these really like bright, bold looks that I was like, whoa, like mesmerized by because I was so simplistic and so for me it was like I was living vicariously through Anya by watching her do her looks and um she just has a personality that is so warm and inviting and just a kindness that you can you know that translates even through camera and um it, I couldn't stop watching her because I just loved that about her and so um I really got talking to her and things like that and then once I did have a channel or however that worked out in any case she approached me about doing a collab together and she was my first collab and just it started like a little bug that I couldn't get enough and we actually did quite a few collabs together and then things kind of got where I'm not really sure what happened. I think she got a really um, busy schedule with collabs with people and I was kind of doing my own thing and stuff. And we realized like we have not collabed together in a long time. And it made us both pretty sad because we both love each other. We both watch each other's channels all the time. It was just, we weren't collabing. So this worked out perfectly to um, do a collab between the three of us like this because Anya and Debbie met because, through me. And so that is really a cool thing. And that's a blessing to me as well, because who could have ever known, but Debbie has a very rare um, disease called Durkham's disease. And I had never heard of it before. It's extremely rare. And um, her and Anya, you know, got connected through me. And Anya was having all sorts of, um, has had medical issues of all kinds and, you know, really trying to figure out what was going on. And um, 
you know, I'm sure it's discouraging to feel, well, I know, even just from the things I've had, to feel so terrible all the time and not have answers as to what is causing it. And through them connecting and talking, it ended up, Anya ended up being um, diagnosed with Durkheim's disease also. It's like the craziest thing, only it's not. And that's what I love. God does that. God connected them. And I think that is the coolest thing. And I love being able to see how those connections are made. And so I just think it's the coolest thing ever that they ended up connecting because of I knew both of them and they saw each other through my channel, like me maybe saying, I'll go to so-and-so's channel and so they went there kind of thing. And then I got myself so excited, I choked. And then um, through that, ending up, you know, talking through different things that were going on and figuring out and um, Anya didn't even say anything to her doctor, I'm pretty sure. They just ended up diagnosing her with that. And I mean, like, that is miraculous. Like, that is God at work, putting them together and so they call each other twin sisters they're so much alike and they have created such an amazing bond and I love seeing that like it is literally a blessing to me to see that so I love it so much and so um so we just have a little love fest between the three of us we just love each other so much <laughs> and um so I'm so thankful because Anya is such a sweetheart and so for her to connect with my sweetheart cousin like what could be better right so um yes I love that okay now, on to the next thing. Let's see. Um, I think I'm going to get a little extra and use this gold glitter, which is called Extra. And it is like a pressed glitter. So I'm going to get some glitter glue. So I'm just going to put a little glitter glue here. Kind of prep my eyes for a little, a little fun here. Um... But yeah, so Anya is, she does all sorts of fun videos. She does so many different cool looks and she loves Halloween. She does Pinkoween and does all these um, collabs with people and um, fun Halloween inspired looks. And um, her and Debbie do this midnight makeup series um, because they both, part of um, something they both deal with with their disease is not being able to sleep at night. So like insomnia. And um, so they decided to use that for something fun. And so they do the series together that they do midnight makeup looks because if they're not sleeping, they may as well do something fun, right? So that is so fun to be able to watch those videos. And um, they do a lot of them. So it tells you how much they're unable to sleep, which makes me feel sad that they go through that. But I'm so glad that they found, that's what I'm saying though about like with um, Debbie and Anya. They find a way to take this thing that could be and that sometimes is debilitating and could be just very, um, make you a very sad, frustrated, bitter person. And instead, they find ways to use it for good and to do positive things with it. And that is like the coolest thing ever when people are able to take, you know, adversity like that and just do something positive with it. So they are both... Definitely people you should check out if you haven't already because they're definite inspirations and um, they make you think, you know, they make you think about stuff about yourself and the things you complain about and the goofy, you know, just complaints that we have and like get over it, you know. <laughs> now what always happens with pressed glitters is even once I clean things up, I'll still see it even once I do my base makeup, but whatever, it's fine, I don't mind. You kind of just have to know that. Alright, so I'm going to, let's see what I'm going to do here. I'm going to take a little bit of that dark, confident color again and just kind of really darken this outer edge and make that, I don't know, somebody's watching something, must be my youngest son, that is really loud all of a sudden. But every time I think you guys are going to hear stuff, I never hear it when I am editing, so... I'm like, they're probably like, what are you talking about? I don't even hear anything. And my middle son, who's a drummer, he just got an electric drum kit, which is like, I kind of miss hearing him playing his other drum kit. But sometimes it's nice because like my oldest son had gotten home from work yesterday and was really tired. And um, he was able to take a nap and he was drumming below him because his drum room was right below him in the basement. And um, he didn't even, it didn't even wake him up. So that was really cool. Okay, so now... I'm going to go ahead and do my face and then we will come back and finish up the eyes and stuff. Okay, I did most of my face makeup, but I'm going to use um, some of the blush and the highlight out of this 
palette here. So last time I used the flirty blush, blush, <laughs> flirty blush down here. So I'm going to use this one, which is snatched and see what that looks like. Oh, it's looking pretty pigmented on there. All right. I'm going to chill that out a little bit. And then the um, highlight is called Lit. So we'll go ahead and do that. I have a hair I can feel by my eye. Driving me crazy. All right, now we are going to do the lower lash line. So I'm going to take that really dark shade Confident and run that right up under the edge of the lash line. All right, and then I'm going to take that hangry shade and just kind of smoke that out a little bit. Ooh. All right. Okay, and then I'm going to take. Hmm. I want to go along my brow bone just a little bit here. And I'm going to use this pure, which is just this light shade up here, just to kind of brighten up up here and just blend that edge. I feel like I have that one shade up a little higher on this side, so I'm going to fix that. And then I am going to use um, this Crown Studio Glam Shadow Stick in Gold Dust, which looks like this. I'm going to use that in my waterline. Um, but first, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to do my tight line my upper lash line with this Urban Decay Perversion and um, I, I'll put my mascara on and all that good stuff and I'll come back and show you at the end and then we'll do the lips. Okay, I'm going to take this NYX Liquid Suede in um, Sandstorm. And then I'm going to take the little lip gloss that came in the set and it's called DIY. And here is my final look. So I will come up close for the eyes for you. You can see I put that gold liner in my waterline, which I really like. I think it's just a fun extra with the gold glitter on the lids. And I really like the way the blush and everything turned out. Um, and I feel like this is a really fun, like kind of glam going out look. And um, yeah, I'm so excited. I'm so glad that I did different colors with this palette. So you'll have to check out that other video to see the versatility of it because the other one's a much more like sweet pink look. And then this one is more like nighttime, going out, party, you know, a party type situation, like heading into the holidays. I know some of you are probably like, it's way too early to talk about that girl. But for me, no, it's not because I love the holidays. And I, yeah, I'm super happy with how this look turned out. So you guys will have to let me know what you think of it. And I feel like my necklace was a very good inspiration for my eyes. So what do you think? Pretty darn close, right? Like, that's pretty much... Yeah. Yeah, I think I... If it was a look inspired by your necklace challenge, I think I have it on point. I never say on point. That was so dorky of me. You're welcome. This is the kind of... Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that I do. Anyway, <laughs> so I cannot wait to see what Debbie does with the palette that Anya chooses for her and to see what Anya does with the palette that I chose for her and um, just to see what we all do and how it turns out. I think it was very fun because, you know, you look at your own collection and sometimes you kind of are in a rut and stick with the same things and haven't used certain things in a long time. So it was very fun when Debbie was like, oh, I want you to use that Pure Sweet 16 palette. And I was like, thank you. Because when I was pulling things out, taking pictures of them, 
I was like, oh gosh, I really should be using this. I should be using this. Like I haven't used this. And I looked at this palette and was like, oh, I haven't used this in a long time. So I was really excited that she chose something that I have not used in a long time because it gave me an opportunity to pull it out and really see just how awesome it is. And sometimes you forget. So, um, and I'm very appreciative of my collection. A lot of my collection has come from friends of mine who have sent them to me or um, giveaways that I've won and things like that. So I'm very thankful for them and I definitely want to get the use out of them. So um, yeah, you guys will have to let me know what you think. I feel like I need to like go out now. I kind of think my husband needs to take me on a date. What do you think? You should probably leave in the comments if you think he should take me on a date. Of course, it won't be the same day, but I can recreate this look for him to take me on a date. <laughs> But thank you guys so much for watching. Please go check out Anya and Debbie's channels and um, please tell them that I sent you. Say, hey, Glamberger sent me over. And um, it's just fun for us to see where people come from, like how people get to our channels. So um, that's something I think most creators like to be able to see because it's just fun to see if you learned about me from someone else or however that works out. So just kind of fun. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you Anya and Debbie for doing this collab with me and we are going to do another one very soon. I have a feeling there's going to be some really fun ones coming up with Halloween approaching and all the holiday stuff. You guys keep an eye out because I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure we can uh, come up with some good stuff. So thank you guys so much. I'll talk to you very soon. Bye.